Okay, so let's go ahead and put together our little freebie here. And what we wanna do is begin by putting our little acetate on the back. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue and just put a little bit of glue around this hole here, maybe just two lines, and take my acetate. It's a nice square piece, so just make sure that you get it nice and centered. And just push down, try not to get the glue out towards the actual cutout. Okay, and just leave that set, let it set. It's, it's kind of a weird material, and we're gluing it on the um, non-textured side of this paper, so it may be a little difficult, but that's okay. Also, you wanna make sure that you take your little pattern piece, and for mine, I've already put one down here. I'm gonna put this other bow right up at the top here, just to kind of create a little bit of interest here. And this is, I think it's by Cartabella. I don't remember what the name of the paper is, but I found a nice pink little polka dot that worked well with these colors that, that we picked out. And we're gonna get that on there, okay? So it's pretty simple so far. And then we have this little green ring. It's gonna go around this hole. So what we wanna do is we wanna put glue on this. I try to get a little bit of glue out towards the end there on the scallops, okay? And we're gonna glue that down right dead center there on the hole, the opening there. Okay, it's a cute, it's actually a really, this is like a really impressive freebie, actually. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna get a lot of use out of it. Okay, so there we go. You got the little acetate there. You can see the reflection there. That's really cute. And then all that's left to do is put this together. So we're gonna put it together side by side. Now, one thing too, before we move on, you can see here on this side, I've taken these petals and I've curled them out. So that's all you wanna do is just take like a little skewer and just push them out and just kind of wrap them around your, your little skewer just to kind of give this piece a little bit of dimension. Okay, and you can, I mean, you can make this with any color paper you want. Um, Diana actually picked out these colors. This was one of her original designs here and um, I didn't have the exact color she picked out but I did have things that were close and I think it came out really cute as far as the color scheme here so again but you can make this for you can make this with pretty much any color and you can put any sort of gift in here actually I'm actually going to put little calico critters inside the little box. I'm gonna put some crinkle fill in there and make it kind of like a little house for the calico critters. I don't know if you guys have kids um, that like the calico critters. They're like little cute little, um, cute little mice and furry little animals that are kind of miniatures. All right, so putting glue on that tab there and we're gonna glue this right next to it. Okay, so just make sure that you've got that nice and lined up. Okay, all right, so let's get that piece down. And you'll notice that this shape here is a little weird, but that's just so that we don't interfere with the little cutouts there. So we can glue them over, but they don't cover up those little cute cutouts, okay? So now, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half like that, because we're gonna take and glue this side here to this tab here. Okay, so we just wanna go ahead and put a little bit of glue right on this tab. And normally what I'll do is I will run that glue out to the edge just to make sure we get a nice clean seam. Put that flat on my table. And just use my table as leverage. There's no sense in trying to assemble this in midair, as I would say. You might as well use your table to get that leverage. And that looks great. Okay, so give that a few more extra seconds to dry. And then the way that this works is you take these, you take these bows and you slide them through the little hole there. And then you pop that in like this to close it. And we've got cutouts there so that they don't cover up the little cutouts there. Okay, and you've got a cute little, you've got a cute little bow at the top. And now all that's left to do is put the bottom on. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do, you've got two pieces like this, okay? And what you want to make sure you do is find the piece that does not have the little L on it. The L stands for liner. That's going to go inside to reinforce our box. And I'm going to start with one tab here, okay? And I'm going to get that tab on there with this piece here. Okay, so we're just going to glue that on first. Make sure that we get this one on nicely and get it perfectly centered. And if you have a little bit of There we go. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that's good. And now we can finish this off by putting glue on the remaining tabs here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little line on the inside part and then we're going to go ahead and put glue along here. Okay, I'm going to work that glue out to the edge nicely. And we're going to close this up. You might just kind of have to push things in and out here. Okay, like that. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now you can actually go ahead and open this up because we got to put our little liner in. So let me get that opened and push this down, get that out of the way. So now you can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the inside. I would do it on the tabs just so that we don't um, warp the paper at all. And you take your little liner piece, just get that in there just to kind of reinforce it a little more. Okay, and we can go ahead and close it up, push that down a little bit, get it through the slot, and then go ahead and close our box. So I will probably jazz this up a little bit with some embellishments, and I also have a little 3D flower here that I'm gonna just go ahead and take a little bamboo skewer and just kind of work those petals and kind of give them a little dimension. Okay, and we'll do the same thing to that one and we'll glue this one into the center of that one and just pop it on the bottom right hand corner of our design. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there. I'm going to offset this piece. You could use a pop dot too if you want to give this thing a little more dimension. It's up to you. Okay. And you know what, actually, I'm going to do that because um, I think it could use a little extra dimension. So uh, don't worry about that glue that was on there. I'm going to actually wipe that off. I want this flower to be a little more dimensional. So I'm using a foam square, which is fine. You can use a pop dot, foam square. Either will work. And I'm going to grab my little razor blade here to help me peel off that backing. There we go. And then I'm going to put my other petal right on there, just offsetting it slightly, just to kind of give it a little, a little extra dimension like that. Okay. And then we're going to take that and I'm going to glue that right here to the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there and just pop that right on there. Okay. And then I'm just going to probably just put a few little rhinestones or some faux pearls right in this little area here and we've got a super cute little gift box. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. For Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.